Texas. The Great Plains stretch as far north as Canada. This is cowboy country, home for Glenn Pratt. The landscape here that we're standing in, I'm very much rooted in. This part of Texas is very much cattle country. And so that's why we're here, is because of cattle. We're cattle people, this is cattle country, and the Texas Panhandle is us. But Glenn is also president of the Ulster Scots Society of America, and he feels just at home in Northern Ireland. We're here at uh, Carrick Fergus Castle, and in times past, Carrick Fergus was uh, the main... Glenn is leading a tour group here, 21 Americans on a whistle-stop 13-day tour. They're here doing what Americans do, all the tourist spots. The Giants Causeway, Carricka Reed, Donegal. But this group is different. As Ulster Scots, they're here to experience our history and culture. And many of them are also trying to find their own roots. The rain is hammering down in Kilkeel, but that isn't dampening the spirits. It's 11th night, and the Schomburg Society Parade is in full swing. Leading it is Glenn Pratt, a Texan. This is magnificent. My, my heart is rising in my chest, and uh, I can't even describe how I feel. I mean, the centuries of history that have bound us and our people together, and it's all coming together in this moment. And in the back, the Confederate fifers are playing the old Dixie tunes, and that speaks to me as a Southerner and a Texan, and this environment speaks to me as an Ulster Scots American, and it's all come together. This is the Nexus, Kill Kill, 11th Night Street pageant. Nothing could be better, nothing could be better. Glenn is in Northern Ireland leading a tour group, 21 Americans on a 13-day visit. They're here on a journey of discovery, and for some, of tears. To explore their Scots-Irish roots, to find a sense of their own identity, to find out who they are and where they came from. They want their roots, just like every human being. But will they succeed? Will two weeks here give them enough time to find ancestors from 200 years ago? Are they, as Ulster Scots, really heading for home?